Hey guys, what's up? It's Mia, and in today's video, we're going to go over the June box from Palletful Packs. So let's get started. First up is a Lyra Soft Kneadable Eraser. It comes in this cute little case. Next, we have a Tombow Mono Zero Eraser Pen that comes with refills. This is a Sumo Grip Mechanical Pencil with a 0.9 lit size. I have two Tombow Mono Pencils. One is 2H and the other is 3B. Our Retro Inspired Palette Full Pack Sticker. We have even more pencils. This is a Woodless Pencil Set from Art Alternatives. The pencils include 2B, 4B, and 6B. Last but not least, we have our Surface, which is a Legion Linux cotton pad. This is 9 by 12 inches, 200 GSMs, and there are 15 pages. Welp! That was everything inside the box, so let's see what these art supplies do. The Lyra eraser. Well, it's an eraser, and it's very soft like dough. I don't know if it's the type of eraser that picks up lint and fur, but I, I think it was a good idea to have a case to store it in. But it's a very good eraser if you want to erase large areas. On the other hand, we have this Tombow Mono Zero eraser pen. The eraser is very thin and small in diameter, but it works well inside of this pen because you end up having control with erasing small or tight areas. The cover of this Linux cotton pad is very soft, it reminds me of velvet, and the paper itself also feels very soft and smooth. Okay, so let's talk about these pencils. I have no idea what type of lid is inside the Sumo Grip, but I'll take a wild guess and say HB. I like how this mechanical pencil is very easy to use. In the past, I've used mechanical pencils that were way too complicated to use, and it made no sense. So I like the simple design of the Sumo Grip. I'm actually surprised that this box doesn't have a pencil sharpener. All of these pencils, and no pencil sharpener. Make it make sense. But anyway, I got this pencil sharpener from an art supply store. The pencil sharpener is called Maypad. I think I pronounced that right, but I actually have two of these and they sharpen very, very well. Back to the pencils. The 3B pencil is a softer lead and will apply darker, whereas the 2H is a harder lead and it will show up lighter on paper. And if you're not careful, you can end up leaving dents in your paper if you press too hard with the 2H pencil. For the art alternative pencils, I mentioned that you get a 2B, 4B, and 6B, two of each. The higher the number, the softer and darker the lid will be. And maybe it's me, but the 3B Tombow pencil didn't show up darker than the 2B art alternatives pencil. Not sure why. Right now I'm going to use these pencils to draw an orca well, and I'll tell you guys a story on how I started off using pencils for art and I'll try to keep it short. So I've always liked art and the most convenient medium for me to use was pencil. I used pencils as well as pens in school and I found the pencil more appealing to use because it had an eraser and I could erase my mistakes. And when I was in high school, I used oil pastels but I found them to be too messy and I didn't like colored pencils that much because I didn't know how to blend them. So I stuck with the pencil. At the time, I didn't know there were different types of pencils. I thought a pencil was a pencil, and I didn't know there were pencils with soft lead, pencils with hard lead, and that they created different values. Matter of fact, I didn't even know what values were at the time. I was just drawing because I enjoyed it, but after a while, I was drawing so much, I just wanted to get better, and I especially wanted to get better at drawing people. One day I was at the bookstore and I discovered this book called How to Draw Real People by Lee Hammond. So I bought the book, I did the exercises, and I noticed my artwork improved a lot. I was really excited. I enjoyed that book so much that I ended up buying even more of Lee Hammond's books. And after I bought them, I eventually got rid of them. How to Draw Real People 
It was a really good book, but after getting Lee Hammond's other books, I noticed the technique was still the same in each book. It didn't matter if the book was about people, animals, clothes, or whatever. The main technique was to use a grid to draw and then to blend the graphite with a tortillon or tissue. So not a lot about creating texture or cross hatching. I still like the book, How to Draw Real People. I highly recommend it. I learned new techniques from the book, but it also made me realize that there were a lot of things that I still did not know about art, and I wanted to learn more than what was offered in this book. But anyway, I actually got tired of working with pencil, and I got into watercolor, but that's another story for another time. I haven't done any pencil drawings for a while. It's been a long time, actually. I can't even remember the last time I even did one, but I'm actually enjoying drawing this orca well. I'm applying the pencil in a circular motion. I could have shaded in the well and used a tortillon to blend, but I wanted this well to have some type of texture to it. I'm also layering the pencils I'm using. I started off with the 2H pencil and then I added a darker pencil to give the well value. But, yeah, I think I should definitely get back into my pencil drawing again. It was something that I enjoyed doing for fun. But I think I'll, I'll get myself a really cute sketchbook and keep it in my purse. And, yeah, I'll start drawing with pencil again. Overall, this was a good book from Paletteful Packs for the month of June. I wish they would have included a pencil sharpener. That's the only complaint I have. But what did you guys think of the June box? Do you like working with pencil? Let me know in the comments. But this is the end of the video. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my playlist. See you next time. Bye.